It's been 70 years since World War II came to a close. The war is over. Peace has come. Less than one million of the 16 million Americans who served in the war are alive to tell about it. But it took the efforts and sacrifices of an entire generation to bring America victory. A fact made clear at this VE Day commemoration. We are here today to salute those of the World War II generation who helped save the world from tyranny. They're often referred to as America's greatest generation. Recently, we spoke with two of them, brothers Jim and Sam Evans. Jim is the older of the two. The spry 96-year-old starts his day with his companion of many years, a chocolate lab named Easy. He's my buddy. I've got to keep him around. He wakes me up every morning. Sam will soon turn 94. His daily routine starts with a pot of coffee. They grew up in the Navy town of Norfolk, Virginia. They both remember the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Jim was with a buddy who served in the Navy. And it came over the radio, and it instructed him to get back to the ship. I think everybody was mad about I don't think anybody was, had any fear of it. It was a very uneasy period for everybody. A little Japanese country, we're going to whip them in a hurry. And this is going to be over by spring. Uh, and we found out we were wrong. They soon found out that the trade skills their dad taught them would be critical in the war effort. Fortunately, the kind of raising Jimmy and I got, we could do electrical work and machine shop work and welding and engine repairs and did most of anything we wanted to do. Sam volunteered for the Coast Guard in May of 1942. He served as a machinist until the end of the war. I was part of the Admiral's staff, except just to be there, to be a machinist, to prepare anything on that flotilla that went bad. Even behind the lines, there was always uncertainty and danger, especially on a small island off the coast of Iwo Jima. Sam says that his faith in God carried him through that time. I couldn't have got along without it. Jim worked in the naval shipyard for most of the war. Like millions of other American civilians, he felt he did his part to support the country. Everybody wanted to do what they could for the war effort. Those that could bought war bonds and worked in the defense industry everywhere they could. I was in the Navy all. I worked seven days a week. And for a long period, it was 12 hours a day. Jim joined the Navy in 1944 and was aboard the newly repaired USS California when she returned to Pearl Harbor. It was a flotilla of four battleships and 10 destroyers and DE boats for escort. All the battleships had been sunk at Pearl and raised and repaired on the West Coast, and they all were sent back at the same time. We weren't supposed to be on deck, but I sneaked up and got a chance to see the big guns fired. Everybody had the same patriotic feeling. Nobody tried to jump ship. Finally, the war was over, and millions of servicemen and women returned home. For many, there was little fanfare. I don't remember any recognition when I came home. Nobody paid any attention to it. There were so many people coming home, and uh, you just couldn't have a parade for every group that came in. Not ones to complain, they went on with their lives. Sam married Ollie May, had three children, and enjoyed 64 years of marriage before her death. Later, he married Margaret, who passed away in 2013. Jim, who's also a widower, was married nearly 60 years to Annie. They had two children and six grandchildren. Today, the Evans brothers are doing just fine. Both are still taking care of themselves, living in their own homes, and working in their shops. Sam can still handle a lathe and fix all manner of things. After 89 years, Jim is still running the family business with Easy by his side. The doctor and everybody told me, whatever I'm doing, keep doing it. And I like my work, and I don't want to retire. It's that same spirit that reminds us of the valor and sacrifices of the millions of Americans who worked and fought for our freedom, which isn't free. One of the reasons we admire and love that generation so much is not only what they did for us between 1941 and 1945, 
but the example of how they have lived their lives Thank you. since then. That is the greatness and grandeur of that generation. As for Jim and Sam, they finally got the recognition they deserve. In May 2014, the Honor Flight Organization celebrated them and their service. It was the best thing that happened to me. Everywhere we stopped, we were congratulated and thanked for our services. We were treated first class everywhere we went. It kind of put a lump in our throat. <laughs> See those uh, little Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? Five o'clock in the morning, come out there to welcome us, thank us. Seeing all this outlay of efforts to honor us is <laughs> a lot. <laughs>